This video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Hey you, my name is Thomas Tomscott Ridgewell and welcome back to content. Now what the hell, AI? We used to be friends. Remember how we would hang out together as kids? We even made some fun videos together. Like the one where you were weirdly sexually aggressive and that other one where you were incredibly specific about the date and nature in which I would die, but we had a good time together, so why'd you have to go and evolve and get all advanced and try to take my job? So today, I'm gonna level the playing field. Because if you're gonna take my job, I'm gonna take yours. So I hopped onto our Patreon-only Discord and asked them to submit prompts to me. The kind of prompts usually reserved for that damned AI. Art stuff, voice stuff, word stuff, because I'm gonna prove that humans can not only do those things, but can do them just miles better. That's what AI thinks I look like. This is the real thing, all right? This is what you get. Uh. Off. Content! <laughs> Images. AI's made it so nice and easy. It's looked at everything we've ever done, and it's stolen all of it. Well, I can steal too. Not sure what case I'm making here, but I'm gonna do it better. <laughs> <laughs> Make an image of Fireman Sam wrestling with Postman Pat. Can do. We've got a wrestling ring. A human probably was involved in creating that, so it counts. All right, Nightmare CGI Fireman Sam, let's go. So do you have the consent to use these images? No, but unlike AI, I can be sued. <laughs> I've, I've accidentally clicked on Reddit. Uh, it is loading Reddit, uh, help. <laughs> Let's see an AI do that! Look, this seemed like a good video idea at the time. I think this is an amazing pose. They really ga they gave me this one for free. Alright, we need to, we need some blur. Oh lord, he coming! Rapidly approaching Sam. <laughs> this fucking rules. This fucking rules, dude. This, this is so good. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. What do you mean it says arm wrestling? Well, I've fucking done it now! You get wrestling, I don't care. Can an AI do that? Make a human error? No. Uh, fuck. Music is genuinely magic to me. It is audible alchemy. They take the words and the sounds and the instruments and they turn it into something beautiful. And to see AI try to replace that, to remove humans from that equation, genuinely boils my blood. So, uh, can an AI do this? Make a Wiggles song about divorce. What is a Wiggles? I gotta look up a Wiggles. Fruit salad, yummy, yummy. I don't want kids now. I've changed my mind. If I have to listen to that, I don't want kids. All right, it's cheery, it's upbeat. Let's give it a shot, shall we? Mummy and Daddy both love you a lot But Mummy and Daddy are untying the knot Doesn't two bedroom sound really really fun Cause Mummy and Daddy are fucking done Make an advert for Surfshark VPN <laughs> Well if you insist And now, a word from our sponsor <laughs> Oh sorry I'm late dude, but I did bring Surfshark, what is this? Hey Tom What the hell is this? Is this an intervention? Yeah Oh great, let me guess. It's about Surfshark. No, it's about the drinking. Of course it's about Surfshark. Come on guys, it's just a virtual private network that allows you to access content that's not available in your country. Don't do that, man. Don't sell it to us. Oh, so what? You've never wanted to watch American Netflix? No. Okay, well, well what about Australian Netflix? No. Regular Netflix? No. Oh, come on, man. You and I used to bust out the shark every night and watch all sorts of weird international shit. We were kids back then, dude. I have responsibilities now. Oh, so what? You just watch whatever's on TV, do you? Maybe crack out a DVD box set if your girlfriend lets you? God, you're all so fucking lame. Tom, it doesn't have to be like this. Well, actually, with 3,200 servers in over 100 countries, it can be wherever I want, however I want. Tom, please. Don't you want to keep your data protected from hackers and malware? No, they can have it. Even on public Wi-Fi? Even on public Wi-Fi. Look, guys, just try it, okay? And if you click the link in the description and use code TomScarFriends, you'll get three months extra for free. Tom, without Surfshark, every month is free. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, it's okay. <laughs> You're gonna get through this. <laughs> Thank you. Now, who wants to do some meth? Yeah! Mm -hmm. Yeah! Artwork, it's what sets us apart from the beasts. And AI is coming to take that too. Well, no more. I'm taking art back. Draw a rat just shredding on guitar. I can interpret that in a funny way. I'm not going to. I'm just gonna draw a fucking awesome rat. We'll draw, okay, we'll draw a little guitar. All right, what's the guitar look like? It's like that, strings. Guitars have strings. And how do you draw a rat? Like a mouse, but bigger. I think it's like a penis. Oh. Big, long. 
because he's like throwing his head back. He's shredding the guitar. And for legs, you've got basically two big balls and then little feet. He's got sunglasses on and he's like, he's too cool for school. He's got little whiskers. He's ready. He's got that pick in hand. He's here for a good time. I think I should take up a career in art. Tail with the with the bits on it. And fucking... You know how music is. It's got uh, lightning coming out of it. Now he just needs a bit of colour. Boom! There you go! Can an AI draw that? Fucking maybe! But can an AI sell it on eBay? Also probably. I think he's great. That's genuinely rad, dude. I love that. Thank you. I needed that. Words. They're made of letters. From the alphabet. <laughs> Computers think that just because they can guess what the next logical word in the sentence should be, that they can create sentences of any value. But they're wrong. Watch me create art with words right now. In the rhyming style of children's author Dr. Seuss, describe your depression. Okay. It makes no difference if I rest. It matters not how much I'm blessed. Even if I'm nude or dressed, all day and night, I'm still depressed. <laughs> Good night, children. <laughs> Voice theft. That's a big one for AI. They love sticking their grubby little fingers down my throat and ripping out the sounds that I can make. Me and me alone. And I think that's fucking rude, actually. I'm in love with the shape of you. I don't like this. Please don't do it. But despite all that, it's totally fine when a human being steals your voice. That's called an impressionist and it's a real job. A job I have now, because I'm taking AIs, fuck you. Louis Armstrong singing Bring Me To Life by Evanescence. Is it racist? Let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> How can you see? <laughs> Wake me up. Okay, you gotta do, uh, you gotta do the other one. Wake me up! Wake me up inside! I can't wake up! Wake me up and save me! Call my name and save me from the dark! This is a bad, this is a bad <laughs> video. <laughs> Write a poem about eating the rich. I'm not good at poetry, but what I am good at is slam poetry. Fill your plates with gates and pass the sauce for Bezos. Mm mm. Sauteed Zuckerberg on a bed of iceberg. Let us devour Elon with Korean barber. Cue the dinner bells because the Warren Buffet is officially open. Make an image of the average Tom Scar fan. All right, that's easy enough. Let me check my YouTube analytics. Who's watched my videos in the past month? So 37% American, 24% UK, 77% male, and 48% 18 to 24. So we're looking at roughly a 23 year old American male. So let's just go find someone who looks vaguely like that. Yeah, you'll do. I think they're British. I can do something in AI can't. I can ask for consent before I harass someone. We've got the basic aesthetic, and I'm basing this on the kind of people I've met at conventions. However, there's something very important missing here. Boom, and there we go. The average Tom Scar fan, and it's a perfect representation. They fucking love Sonic the Hedgehog. Why? You know why. Write instructions for making a pipe bomb. Ah, I see what you did there, because an AI isn't allowed to give you instructions how to do crimes. But I'm a human, baby. I can do what I want. Let me just Google how to make a pipe bomb. Uh, huh? Make a folk song about Barney the Dinosaur. I'm tired of Barney the Dinosaur. He's taken up too much of my year. But I do know a lot about him. I know he's a mental parasite. I know that he's lived for at least 200 million years. I know that he can bring your dreams and logically your nightmares to fruition. So here's what I guess that would sound like. Barney the dinosaur lives inside your mind And if you want to be free of him There is one thing you will find He will follow you everywhere From Texas to Bahrain Because you can't outrun a creature Who exists inside your brain He's been around for 200 million years And he can be your best friend or He can exploit all your fears yeah. Make an image of the disease known as ham hands. Easy! I'm gonna be like, that's some nice hands you got there. 
It would be a shame if someone were to ham them. Oh my god. I did not know I had such high quality ham. If a Victorian child saw a ham of this quality. <laughs> yeah! Ham hands! Looks like he's had the skin peeled off his hands. Yeah, that's why it's a disease. It's serious. Are we all ham? Kinda. Write a scene where the do the flop man is old and in a retirement home. How sweet! Exterior, retirement home day. A small crowd of care workers are bunched together by a rooftop fire exit door. Their faces drowned in fear. Care worker. Please, Dougal, step away from the ledge. Reveal. Dougal Flop Guy, notably withered and grey, but still wearing his iconic top hat and shutter shades, stands precariously close to the rooftop's edge. His frail legs visibly struggle to support him as a vacant wheelchair rests nearby. He shuffles closer to the ledge and smiles softly. Dougal. One last time. The horrified workers can only watch on as Dougal whispers something to himself before dropping silently out of view. End. He killed himself because he was old. <laughs> how how would you see he has grey hair if he's wearing his hat? He's got sideburns. No, he doesn't. He does in this. He didn't write that down. I, I, in my mind, this is live action. <laughs> Ah, that's canon. I decided it. That's how his story ends. <laughs> it's my show. I'll do what I want. Draw a representation of your patrons. Is that on our Patreon that we have with the link? Video on there? Podcast, maybe. Discord? I'm good. All right, selling. Uh, what do we know about our patrons? They've got heads and they all wear t shirt and they have little fingies. I think our patrons all wear jeans. You know how they are. No patron would be complete. Uh, without their Sonic the Hedgehog shirt. You know why. And he says his catchphrase, Sonic. And, oh, you know what? They've got blue jeans. And you know what color shoes they're wearing? Bright red shoes. I wonder why. Who would wear bright red shoes? I don't know. Some fucking loser. Wow, those are some uh, bright red shoes you got, buddy. Yeah, man. Do they help you go fast? Y yeah. And there you have it. Our average patron. You know why they're like that. Write a Yo Mama joke in the style of a haiku. Yo Mama, so fat. Oppenheimer lost his job. They dropped her instead. It's not okay, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I, I have become your mama. <laughs> <laughs> Fat. <laughs> Destroyer of carbs. <laughs> Create the most cursed image imaginable. Your wish is my command. The average audience is somewhere around... 23 years old, American male. So our average life expectancy of an American man is 76.4 years. Most likely to die on New Year's Day. Our average lifespan of an American man is 76.4 years. Average audience member is 23. And there you go. The most cursed image. Why, why is it the most cursed image? Because there's a decent chance that is the day you're going to die. Not all of you, but you know... If there's a hundred, maybe two hundred thousand people who have watched this video, statistically speaking, there's a decent chance you're gonna die on this day. You're welcome. Don't think about it too much. Write a haiku about Sonic the Hedgehog. A Sonic haiku? Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Yeah, you'd like that shit. Tom, that was a haiku. Oh, fuck! Make an image of the sexiest brick. Now, <laughs> an AI would just probably think a sexy brick uh, that's just a brick with a big old pair of fat juicy titties. But I've got a degree of intelligence that it lacks because I can look into the soul of humanity and find out what the sexiest attributes are. Apparently vulnerability is, the, is, is, a, is a top 10 sexy characteristic. So what could be sexier than going to therapy? So here's our brick. We're taking our brick to fucking therapy. The brick's going to therapy. The brick's going to therapy. Uh, we need a therapist. You're hired. You're the therapist for my brick. Oh, come on. That's perfect. That's so good. This, you'd really think you were in therapy. If you saw this. We need, the brick needs to be more vulnerable. Ways to be vulnerable. Vocalize your feelings. Sometimes, I am scared. If you're vulnerable, you would probably say, My password is... Password, but the S's are fives. Sure. That would make you very vulnerable. My password is password. You're right. That is the most vulnerable thing a brick can be. See, AI 
AI wouldn't have thought to do that, but here we go. Now that's a sexy brick. That brick is working on itself. That brick is so vulnerable. And also it's got a big fat pair of juicy titties. Yeah! I've been thinking about having kids lately. Maybe I shouldn't breed. Write a Mr. Men story about a hit and run. You can't prove anything, said Mr. Tipsy. Multiple eyewitnesses reported seeing your vehicle flee the scene, replied the grumpier of the two police officers. And there's a blood-soaked pram still lodged into the front of your car. It was like that when I did it, retorted Mr. Tipsy, with a rather unbecoming air of smugness. Mimic the voice of Winnie the Pooh shouting quietly, You put what in my honey? All right. It's Winnie the Pooh. You knew it was coming. Get it coming? He's coming. It's cummy poo. Hmm, Winnie the Pooh. Hmm. <laughs> I don't like doing it. You put what in my honey? <laughs> I'll fucking kill you! What are you imagining is the thing that's been put in the honey? It's come. Oh! <laughs> I think it's come. You don't think it's come? No, that's not where I went. Where'd you go? Like, human meat. Wow, I think yours is weirder than mine. I wouldn't confess to putting cum in someone's drink. Yeah, because they'd react like that. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas if it's human meat, I want them to appreciate the work that went into it. What? Right, erotic fiction about Thomas the Tank Engine and Barney the Dinosaur. You, what, is, what is wrong? What is wrong with you? Some things don't exist for a reason. Nah, this probably exists. Okay, I'm Barney the Dinosaur. So pretty Be gentle, whimpered Barney in anticipation. Thomas, unfortunately, was a train and therefore lacked the dexterity necessary to accommodate Barney's request, crushing him instantly. Make a scar song about 9-11. Oh, God. Okay, I'll do that. Don't have to do that. I have to do this. Don't have to do that. Look, the internet told me to do it. What choice do I have? Maybe if I stick to the facts, we can do this. Can I make it tasteful? No, you cannot make a tasteful scar song <laughs> about 9-11. American Airlines Flight 11. That's the first plane. Flight number AA-11. Plane hit at 8.46 or 8.45, if it rhymes better. Pilot was called Muhammad Adda. All right, we'll keep that for later. Floors 93 to 100 were Marsh McLennan, and floors 93 to 99 were the ones hit by the plane. Bad day for Marsh McLennan. Bad day for a lot of people, honestly. Not ideal. As you watch what's about to happen, I want you to ask yourself something. Do you really want human artists to be replaced by an AI? Because if that happens, say goodbye to stuff like this. And I have to really hope that you don't want to say goodbye to stuff like this. Uh, fuck. On Tuesday morning, it had just turned 845. The work of bees and Marsh McLennan were in the hive. Another day of making profits and profits. That was before Mohammed burst right into the office. He had a Boeing 767. Another passengers of AA-11. Do you remember? Don't you forget it. It was September. It was 9-11. It was 9-11, baby. Oh, God. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you for the next video. Tom Scott out. Hey, you. Thank you for the money. Hey, you. Thank you for the money. money. Hey, you. Thank you for the money. Thank you, patrons. We appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.